Well, it is the 148th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi, which is being celebrated today across India. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi is presently at Rajghat to pay homage to the father of the nation. The Prime Minister Modi has already tweeted, and I quote, I bow to beloved Bapu on Gandhi Jayanti. His noble ideals motivate millions across the world. Right, so that was Prime Minister Narendra Modi there paying homage at Rajkhat. It is the 148th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi which is being celebrated today. And also I'm being told that we have our political affairs editor Kartike Sharma who joins us for more on this. Uh, Kartike, this is a very important day. 2nd of October we've always celebrated it. It's Gandhi, Gandhi Jayanti. And it's also the occasion of three years of the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, which was started by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. See, this is, this was one of the flagship, uh, I would say, uh, campaign models of Bharati Janata Party. See, uh, sanitation drives are not new in India, mm -hmm. but sanitation drive married to a campaign where uh, individual becomes uh, important in the whole scheme of things was started by uh, Modi in uh, post-colonial order. You see, uh, I would say the pre-colonial uh, order, it was Gandhi who wedded the idea of campaign with social reforms because this is also about behavioral change. Mm -hmm. Now, um, things lose time, you know, you know, when things are of your own party, you don't tend to be as attentive and receptive to what has been done in past. But Modi maybe, uh, you know, he decided to pick that up. I wouldn't say that he lifted that up from uh, Mahatma Gandhi's book. But uh, Prime Minister Modi definitely got inspired by it. Now three years are going to come, are coming to an end. People are going to ask as to what did Swachh Bharat attain. Now, and this is also going to showcase whether India as a country has changed its behavior, open defecation, uh, the problem related crime uh, linked to open defecation. These are, these are connected issues. Mm -hmm. But campaign uh, as central to his economic and social policy is new. For example, demonetization, it was a campaign. Uh, Swachh Bharat, again it became a campaign. Make in India is again a campaign. So, you know, whether they have succeeded or not, before the elections audit will take place. Absolutely, indeed. Uh, and also, uh, considering the fact that this, this of course, is the 148th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. Uh, Kartikeya, does it surprise you at all that the BJP is... is you know, trying to get itself closer to the legacy of Mahatma Gandhi because in the past, um, you know, the BJP, the ideology that they represent and, and the ideology which Gandhi stood for were not exactly on similar lines. Well, I, w I would say that, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, ideologically or in terms of organizationally, uh, certain reputations will take place, the photo ops will take place, but ultimately what matters is what has been done on the ground. And Prime Minister will be evaluated for what has been done on the ground. Intent part he has won, there is no doubt about it. Uh, what needs to be seen is whether substantial changes have taken place or not. Absolutely, indeed. And um, going forward from here, considering that it is three years of Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, do we expect this scheme? Because generally in India what happens is schemes start off with a lot of you know, wind and fury, but then slowly the enthusiasm just lags off. Do we see the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan as, as one of those flagship schemes which Prime Minister Modi will continue to insist upon? Well, I, I would say that um, more than... See, uh, I don't think these uh, elections are going to be fought on the flagship schemes. Elections are going to be fought on different issues altogether. You know, there are certain things which are completely unexpected. Let's go by his style. Uh, that, for that matter, Congress... Uh, doesn't, uh, doesn't, uh, you know, Congress is not in uh, a party which is going to, uh, you know, spring surprises. The only surprise uh, Congress uh, has, uh, was able to spring was in 2013 when they made Rahul Gandhi the vice president of the Congress party. 
you know they try to keep it a secret and uh, this and that but then they try to give it a color of uh, a populist succession but anyway it was a dynastic succession absolutely apart from that bjp though tightly more tightly knit you know can can does uh, uh, has the potential to create surprises now the only problem is gst more than swachh bharat uh and i and i think gst in economy is going to be their biggest challenge not these policies absolutely indeed kartik i do continue to stay on with this a very solemn occasion there uh, all the big dignitaries of the nation we see prime minister narendra modi we also uh, saw a little while back of the former prime minister manmohan singh we also saw uh, the former leader of the opposition lk advani they're paying their homage at the rajghat and this is what prime minister modi has in fact put out in his tweet earlier in the day where he said i bow to beloved bapu on gandhi jayanti his noble ideals motivate millions across the world and also vice president venkaiah naidu will be unveiling the statue of gandhi ji at around 8:40 am in in uh, some time from now a very solemn occasion the nation remembers the mahatma on the occasion of his 148th birth anniversary um this is of course uh, we will be seeing a number of other leaders as well who will be coming to rajghat through the day and this is a time when when the nation of course remembers bapu the man who said to have been so instrumental in getting india its freedom and also kartik if i could come back to you on this 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 is uh, you know an important day an extremely an important day and you know prime minister modi of course chose the birthday of mahatma gandhi to launch his flagship swachh bharat abhiyan uh, there's also a bit of a criticism that's been leveled that despite the fact that the government has been pushing forward for swachh bharat abhiyan on the ground though it's not making the same kind of an impact which prime minister modi would wanted to make kartikeya if you could still hear us right we seem to have lost kartikeya sharma there but this this of course a very solemn occasion prime minister modi uh, we saw him pay homage to Mahatma Gandhi a little while back we also saw the former prime minister Manmohan Singh and also the former leader of the opposition and the BJP patriarch LK Advani who also paid homage at at Rajghat it's it's very interesting a twist of 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 destiny as one might so say it because in the past the BJP and the former Janasangh that the BJP in fact came from uh, were not ideologically inclined towards the ideology of Mahatma Gandhi enough we of course see the bjp also taking part on the occasion the very solemn occasion of 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 the father of the nations his birth anniversary the 148th birth anniversary of mahatma gandhi and this of course is also 3 years from the time that prime minister modi launched his flagship swachh bharat abhiyan and we expect this scheme will will of course continue unlike so many schemes in the past which start off in a very grand manner but slowly they start flagging off but this is a scheme which prime minister modi has said that he will continue because cleanliness and swachhata as he terms it is something that is fundamental to the soul of this nation so prime minister modi also had tweeted earlier in the day paying tribute to the father of the nation i bow to beloved bapu on gandhi jayanti his noble ideals motivate millions across the world so several leaders both from the government and also from the opposition remember the Congress party of course uh, claims to be the party that represents the ideals for which Mahatma Gandhi stood for but that that is something that's that's a legacy which the BJP also is trying to appropriate uh, Mahatma Gandhi the person who played a pivotal role in India's freedom struggle who had always insisted on the ideals of non-violence and satyagraha who had said the truth will always triumph in the end and arguably one of the greatest leaders of the 20th century who lived the mangas many said that he was a mahatma more than a human being people venerated him as a saint a saint who led india to its freedom 
on 15th August 1947. So these are the prayers and the homage that is being paid to the father of the nation Bapu on the occasion of his 148th birth anniversary. 